Hey YouTube. So today I'm going to be doing equalize my batteries. So if I remember correctly, you take the caps off or you loosen them, and then you put your voltage up to about 15, I think. So I don't have much of a load on, as you can see. It's not much load. So the weather is nice and clear, it's not extremely hot, it's only 30 odd degrees. So if anyone knows if I'm doing it right or not, let me know, but I'm pretty sure this is what you normally do, or you just sort of loosen them a bit, which is a bit hard with these type of caps. Um, that's why I normally just leave it like that. And if you get a little bit of splatter up here, I just get the uh, paper toweling or whatnot and clean them up. So I've been using the battery extra now for, I think it's been two weeks or so. I mean, this is the oldest battery. So this one generally splatters by itself even with the caps on. Usually it's a bit grubby in that and the water is just really disgusting in there. So that's what the battery um, voltage is up to. And that's what the charge controller reckons. So that's what the time is at the moment. And that's what the degrees is. And the date. Since I got the voltage up now, yeah, see that one's shut off now since I took the load off. This one's completely not even charging. Kind of funny. This light's on, but on the camera it's looking like it's charging, but it's not. So, so I might have to put a little bit of load on. Alright, so I have a bit more of a load on, and it's just slightly under 60, fluctuates a bit, and apparently that didn't do it. Just wanted to get the more amps in, but. Oh, that one's come green now. One's still white. Oh no, green. Oh, white. You can really smell the hydrogen as well at the moment. Even though I've got the, the door open, it has a vent up here. So anyway, once the voltage gets down a bit, so especially if it gets under 14, then I'm going to put the caps back on, put the normal load that I would do, and that'll be it. Maybe I should have done this a bit early in the day. I'm not too sure how long I would do the equalise for, but... You know, if it helps with the batteries, then I'm all for it. Or if any other people know any other suggestions on what I can do to try and get a bit more life out of these batteries, let me know. It's a really dirty battery, this old one. And you 
equalize it. Where if you go into my newer one, yeah, much cleaner. And then the second oldest battery. I gave it a put the caps on and shaked it up a bit. And that is really dirty. Looks like it's getting cleaned up a bit. I don't think I really need to do it with the others, but I'm going to do. Alright, so I gave this one a shake. So that um, brought a lot of the crap from the bottom up top. And it didn't look like it wasn't dirty. And that's the newest one, and I shake that one up too. fumes. And all I did is I grabbed the corner here and I, you know, lift up and bang it. But a bit more harder than that with the caps on. And I do it on each side and it stirs it up, breaks it up a little bit. So it's been over an hour, voltage is starting to come down because it's getting later. I've only got the back panels on. I'm still not getting any charge out of this because it's still too high with the voltage. I can't adjust this. I put the load right down, try and get the voltage up. That's the progress we're up to at the moment. It doesn't look like much difference. But when we first started, there was a big difference. It's still showing white. But I got told a lot of times those things don't bloody work. That's the newest battery, and that one shows all nice. A lot more crap in it now, so that's a good thing. These plates are getting a little bit cleaner. Second oldest battery. That one's green. So it won't be too much longer and I'll be putting everything back the way it was. Yep, so now I'm going to put all the caps back on. getting a, a lot of power in now. So that's it for equalizing. There is more content to come, so like it, hate it, subscribe. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll catch you all on the next one. Thanks and bye.